Closing costs. What are they? Does the seller pay for those? Does the buyer pay for those? Can we get uh, maybe the real estate agent to help us out? That's something I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna figure this out and save you some money. Let's do this. Okay, you've got the offer accepted, you've had your inspection, your appraisal, and you're about to close. So you're gonna receive what's called the estimated settlement statement from the title company. What's interesting about this is let's say you paid $300,000 for the house. Well, at the bottom of that list, you're gonna see maybe you ended up paying about uh, 309. And the reason for that is closing costs. So there's, there's two sides of every transaction. One is the seller side, the other is the buyer side. Typically as a seller, you're gonna be uh, incurring closing costs of somewhere around six to 7%. As a seller, your closing costs are going to be realtor commissions, paying for title insurance. That ensures the title is clean and free of all encumbrances. So the buyer has a clean title when they purchase as well as realtor commissions. Now as a buyer, most of your closing costs are gonna be associated with getting a loan. So that's going to be uh, appraisal, underwriting, Sometimes a lender charges a fee to originate or create the loan. You're also gonna be paying for a year's worth of property taxes, a year's worth of insurance, and any other recording fees you have to make sure that your loan is now on title. Now, if you're a cash buyer, your closing costs are about three quarters of a percent. That is your half of the escrow fee, and then getting everything recorded into your name and making sure you're getting a clear title. Real story, when I bought my first house, I was shocked when I got to the closing table. I had my down payment saved and only later did I find out there was all these closing costs associated and I didn't quite have enough money for it. So I'd pay in 250 for this place, 250 purchase price at the very bottom. After all the fees, I was paying like 264 and that was confusing to me. It seems a little bit like a racket at first. That's why we like to communicate these things up front and make sure that you know exactly how much money you're gonna have out of pocket before it's time to sign on the dotted line. No matter where you are, there are great agents all over the United States. If you happen to be in Southern Oregon, I'd love to chat with you. And if you're not in Southern Oregon, you can still get a hold of me because I have preferred real estate partners all over the United States that are great at this and are able to help you find that perfect house.